So when I see Meek Mill going around doing silly things on the internet, it kind of makes me look at him like, like, like disappointment. Like, damn, bro, you know, you know, Meek Mill out here doing bunny hops and shit like that for 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 the white men and stuff. Like that was, to me, it was embarrassing. It was very degrading, and it made him look, it made him look just really weird. Y'all remember this shit? Cause you got your ass beat in tennis. You got your ass beat. Keep going. Count out loud. This the wrong time, nigga. Count out loud. Thirty. Can't, huh? Four. Six. Seven. Nine. Forty. Forty-one. Forty-two. Keep going. Four, six, Keep going. Seven. Eight. Nine. One. Two. Keep going. Three, Keep four, going. Three, Don't cheat on your buddy hops. They suck. Your buddy hops suck. You got two hundred. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> That's just. <laughs> that nigga look. <laughs> I'm sorry. That nigga look crazy. <laughs> that nigga look crazy. I'm sorry, y'all. He looked crazy. Ciao. <laughs> Woo! He tried it. Oh, he tried it. Oh, it. You gotta watch that shit one more time, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm petty as hell. Can you watch that shit one more time, y'all? Yeah, nigga. We watch that shit one more time, goddamn. Jeez. Huh? Six, seven, nine, forty, forty one, forty two. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Don't cheat your buddy hops. They suck. Your buddy hops suck. You got 250. Why are you doing bunny hops, Meek? Because you got your ass beat in tennis. First of all, all right, so this is supposed to be a bet. Meek Mill is from the streets of Philadelphia. Niggas in the hood don't play tennis like that. Yes, we have, there's tennis courts around here. Yes, but niggas don't really play tennis like that. We play football, basketball, maybe a little bit of uh, baseball, and if you're from the Caribbean, a lot of the Haitians and Jamaicans, they play soccer or football. But niggas don't play tennis. Meek Mill, you made a bet that you will beat one of them white boys. Then one of them, Mark, Mark, what's his name? Michael Rubin is worth $11.5 billion. You think that motherfucker ain't grow up with tennis courts in his backyard? You did a bet with him to think you could beat him in tennis? Jesus. And now he got you on the internet being humiliated doing bunny hops. Make it make sense. And you mad at DJ Academics for doing his job? DJ Academics has a job as a blogger. So when y'all niggas on the internet take L's, his job is to exploit the L and get views and money off of y'all mistakes. That's the facts. So Meek Mill goes online threatening academics for what? Academics wasn't even the one who exposed that a situation may have happened with you and Diddy. Allegedly, personally, I don't believe it. It wasn't academics. Somebody right now is suing Diddy. Somebody that produced Diddy's last album. What was it called? Brother Love or some shit like that. And Diddy tried to rob the guy and not give him his publishing and didn't pay him right. So he decided to expose Diddy because I guess Diddy was trying to come on to him sexually. It was around the house with his joint all out and taking showers. And the guy was making beats inside the bathroom and all types of shit. Like, oh, God, I can't make this shit up. What the hell? So the guy decided to expose Diddy because he's in the house. He hears everything that's going on. And he decided to ear, ear out certain situations. Period. And you out here mad at academics for what? You mad at the at the blogging guy? People always have this misguided anger, misdirected anger. You're angry at the wrong person. And I don't even know why he even addressed the situation. If it's not true, if it don't apply, let it fly. If it don't apply, let it fly. You're responding to a blogger doing his job, threatening him for what? Him and Academics been at odds for about a decade now. Academics is a professional troll. What are you talking to him for? My bad, my bad, my Yo, this is how I feel Meek Mill and, and the 50 young bulls he would pull up on me with would have me doing it. Nigga would have my fat ass paws doing, doing like, yo, act do the fucking bunny hops, nigga. What is this? Is this like a dance? Some TikTok shit? I don't know. Anyway. 
I was just bring that up. I ain't clowning nothing. I'm pretty sure there's a reason behind it. Yo, my man, Doctor. So my man was out here doing bunny hops, right? Let's talk about it. Now you got the world clowning him. He's being humiliated, and everybody's clowning him for being online doing bunny hops, including this guy. I don't give a fuck about them, nigga. Yeah, we Southern kids, nigga. Them nigga can't rap no more. Uh, they ain't got no trend no more. Uh, yeah, man, fuck in Meek Mills bouncing around like a bunny rabbit for white boys. So yeah, them niggas all the way. What you mean by that? Man, you uh, saw that shit that nigga did on that uh, whatever he was doing. He bouncing around whatever that shit <laughs> for, on a tennis court for white people. I don't know what you talking oh, about. Oh man, <laughs> y'all, it's all on the internet. Man, nigga look like a, a, a black bunny rabbit. And he hopping and he bouncing, uh, and the white folks is laughing and giggling at him. And then he got one of them where he doing a dance and a white man doing this, and Meek Mills doing all kind of stupid shit. And he looking clownish. He ain't looking like James Evans of Good Times, like no strong nigga. That's a whole fact. That's a whole fact. Yes, please, y'all, if y'all could do me a favor, if you're in the li live chat right now, if you can like, share, and subscribe to the channel, I would definitely, definitely appreciate it. Thank you so much. But, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys a series of events that Meek Mill has just been looking really, really suspect. You know what I mean? Um, And the people around him, you know what I mean? And the things that's been going on. It's just, to me, it's weird. Um, Diddy is really weird. Um, I'll never forget. This was, like, the most awkward moment ever um with, with with p diddy and i'm pretty sure most of you guys if you haven't seen this i know you at least heard the audio of when he was acting really weird at drink champs with fabulous y'all remember this famous clip Mr. Lee, we'll yeah, I love this drink. Will you put my bag? I like yeah. when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah. Will you put my bag? Daddy, I like when you, oh, when you scrambling and right scraping some no, 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 shit. No, 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 I got I don't like that. Shit. You know, I'll be even practicing. I got yeah. to Mr. Lee, we'll yeah, I love this drink. Will you put my bag? I like yeah. when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah. Will you put my bag? Daddy, I like when you, oh, right when, you right when you scrambling and scraping. When you scrambling and scraping for shit. No, 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 no. no, okay, yeah, I'm not gonna go over with that one. Make a that wish. one. Just oh. blow it out. Your no, birthday no. every day. Every day is a birthday on Drink okay. Champs. God damn it, I'm in. Where I look, Did you look miss back me? on where I became. Did you miss me though? Mm. For real, because we, I'm saying, I miss, it seems like a thing. I miss his birthday with party, Puff, man. Man, I'm talking about for me. your birthday. Mm. Huh? Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I'm, I, yeah, we we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. And, mm -hmm. No, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Eyes, eyes.